Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Ryan Timmons, hamstring architect, here to take you through my PhD. The first study of my PhD utilised two-dimensional ultrasound to look at if there were deficits in biceps femoris muscle fascicle length in previously injured limbs when compared to contralateral uninjured limbs and also uninjured individuals. We assessed hamstring muscle architecture utilising two-dimensional ultrasound and we firstly looked at the reliability of the assessor and the processes and also if there were any deficits between limbs and also individuals. As the first study of my PhD found deficits in previously injured limbs, we wanted to look at if this deficit existed before injury or was actually the result of injury. So we undertook a prospective injury study using architecture and the Nordic hamstring exercise in elite soccer in Australia. As study two found that possessing short biceps femoris fascicles and being weak eccentrically increased your risk of future hamstring injury, we looked at in the third study how we can modify architecture using dynamometry and looking at differences between concentric and eccentric training. Overall, my PhD consisted of three studies looking at the role of hamstring muscle architecture and the risk of injury and also how it responds to either concentric or eccentric training.